three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, July 5th, 2018. I hope you had an amazing 4th of July yesterday. That is, if you are living in the United States of America. Um, I know I had an amazing day yesterday. But in this video, I want to talk about Bitcoin. I want to look at the charts, give you a little bit of a sense of what I'm thinking. I'm also curious what you're thinking about the markets. But still, market sentiment kind of torn, which is obviously expected with how things have been. But let's look at it. Let's jump into the charts. We're going to start in the daily. And simply put, I want to talk about a downside and I want to talk about an upside in this video. So let's start with a downside. So downside wise, right, we've kind of, you see this daily chart looking very sideways the last like few days. Um, however, on the downside, if, if, if we see a downtrend happen right now, I'm looking for first off support at basically right around this uh, 6293 area, let's just call it $6,200, um, which is really this lower low that we had before true lows that we, that we had, you know, a, couple weeks later. So I want to talk about that being support first off. We don't have to freak out if we do test $6,200 because it could actually be a positive thing. If we break $6,200 and actually break down um, through $6,200 and start approaching this area again, that could be dicey. And, and then we'd have to be talking about breaking those areas and, and creating new lows. Those aren't videos that anybody wants to do right now in this market. However, if we did test $6,200 and we saw support there, uh, especially on the daily, this would be awesome. And we saw support and a possible bounce back up, you'd see a pretty clear reverse head and shoulders um, on the daily begin forming, which could be an incredibly bullish scenario in terms of indicators. Um, in terms of momentum for Bitcoin and also in terms of actual formation of a, you know, this third bottom that we're in that we're trying to form. So if we do continue down from the $6,500 range, uh, you know, I'm not trying to instill hope out there for everybody, but it's definitely something to look for. And it could actually be a good scenario if we, if we formed this uh, reverse head and shoulders type of pattern, touching down to around $6,200 for support and um, forming a neckline right around there in the $6,700 would not be a bad thing to, um, to form. Now on the upside, let's talk about what that might look like. So, and this is going to lead us into the four hour, but on the upside, we're looking for more higher lows and highs on the four hour, which is eventually going to help us break through $6,700 right here. You see it on the daily. You can see we wicked up to $6,700 yesterday, July 4th. So. That really would set us up for higher highs on the daily to break the current 50 EMA on the daily at $7,000. And you can see the current 50 EMA on the daily right there at $7,000 for Bitcoin. So as always, it's like a stepping stone process and usually happens on the four hour to start breaking those key areas on the daily. But we have a long way to go. $7,000 doesn't seem that far. However, it kind of is. Um, breaking that 50 EMM daily would be huge for Bitcoin. Uh, you can even see the last time we even wick, wicked through it, not even really broke through it, was actually on our way down. Um, that was back in what, May 14th, May 15th, when we actually were even touching the 50 EMA. So to get to that area, first off, would be amazingly bullish for Bitcoin, um, but there might be some resistance along the way. So let's look at that on the four hour. So here's the Bitcoin four hour, and you can kind of see the 67, I have the 67 line, I mean, it's 6760. You can really see it on the four hour, pretty well defined over here as kind of an area of resistance. So you can see also July 4th yesterday, we wicked through it, you see it there on the four hour, and we saw resistance right at that $6,700 mark, and you see on the four hour, it's actually also the 200 EMA. So. Again, these stepping stone stones are very important in terms of Bitcoin. And you can see the last time we even got close to the 200 EMA on Bitcoin was back here also in May. So we've actually been approaching some key areas of resistance for Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin, if you look at it, and I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit better than it is, you can see this this bottom that we had, uh, and since then we have been actually forming these these higher lows 
and even right here is a higher low. It's not as well separated and you know healthy looking as you would want it to be, but for now, it is a higher low on the four hour, and for now, we are above the 50 EMA on Bitcoin as well on the four hour. So right now, Bitcoin, you know, it's on its way up still in terms of momentum. Maybe not as not as much separation, probably not as much volume or momentum as we would like uh, to make us feel good. But right now we're kind of just bouncing in between that uh, 50 EMA and the 200 EMA on Bitcoin. So obviously when we're in this area, it can go either way. But since we've been forming these higher lows and these higher highs from that previous bottom back here, you know, I, I don't think it's a it's not a terrible thing to be optimistic. You obviously want to anticipate downside as well, but it's something to track right now. So you can see we kind of wick down, we touched that 50 EMA. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can really form this higher low here and start bouncing up really from where we are right now. I mean, it's five o'clock Eastern time on Thursday, July 5th. So right now is the time that we want to start kind of cruising back up. And we do, we want to test this 200 EMA, which is also this previous higher high around you know, right around $6,700. So right now, if we can create a, a higher high on the four hour above $6,700 would be an extremely nice move and an extremely nice indicator. But those are just some things I'm looking for in terms of key resistance and support areas. Wanted to make this video quick to the point. That's what I like to do over here. Um, even though sometimes things can get drawn out and I talk too much, but I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Please let me know, know your thoughts in the comments below. I always love reading and talking with all of you, whether it's on YouTube, Twitter, and just getting a general sense of your sentiment. Um, sometimes I'm more, you know, I'm way more bullish short term than bearish short term. And it kind of, it really depends on the momentum. Right now, momentum has been nice for Bitcoin. So it's not a terrible idea to be optimistic. Um, and it's nice to get optimistic sentiment back into the market, right? So little steps along the way. Really appreciate you. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the channel. As always, I will see you in the next video and God bless.